वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व चैप्टर टू लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई टू पॉइंट नाइनटीन वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग ओहम्स ला अकॉर्डिंग टू ओहम्स ला वोल्टेज अक्रॉस एनी रेजिस्टेंस आर विल बी इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करंट थ्रू डेट रेजिस्टेंस एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस वी आल्सो विल बी यूजिंग करंट डिवाइडर रूल दीज आर टू इक्वेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्कट यूजिंग करंट डिवाइडर रूल the branch currents of i1 and i2 are mentioned now move towards the problem calculate the supply current is in given below figure this is the circuit diagram of problem and we have to calculate the value of is supplied current to this network so without wasting time let's proceed towards the solution we will solve this problem with two different techniques in first method we will use traditional technique to solve this problem and in second method we will use current divider rule to solve this problem in both methods answers will remain same so first solve this problem using method 1 voltage across this 30 km resistance is given value of resistance is also known so we can calculate the current of this resistance value of current for this 30 km resistance will be voltage divided by resistance and the current value is 0.1 milliampere this current will be flowing into clockwise direction because of the sign notation of this voltage we take the current entering terminal with positive sign and leaving terminal with negative sign so the current direction will be clockwise now this same current will be flowing also from 90 kilo ohm resistance because of series connection so we can calculate voltage across this 90 kilo ohm resistance as well voltage of 90 kilo ohm resistance will be current through it 0.1 milliampere multiply by the value of resistance that is 90k so the voltage across this 90k resistance will be 9 volt now because of the clockwise direction the voltage across this 90 kilo ohm resistance will have positive sign here and negative sign here this is the updated diagram of circuit after calculating current and voltage across these resistances the polarity of voltage is plus here and negative here because the current is entering from this terminal and leaving from this terminal this 60 kilo ohm resistance is parallel to these two resistances whatever the voltage is appearing across these two resistances same voltage will be appearing across this 60 kilo ohm resistance as well so the voltage of 60 kilo ohm resistance will equal to the sum of these two voltages that are 12 volt and polarity of voltage will also same now we can calculate the current of this resistance because we have voltage across it and the value of resistance is also given so current through this resistance will be 12 divided by 60k value of current will be 0.2 milliampere and the direction of current is upward to downward because the current entering terminal is taken with positive sign and leaving terminal is taken with negative sign so the current direction will be from upward to downward label both currents with their values on this node two currents are leaving from this node one is 0.1 milliampere and the other one is 0.2 milliampere and only one current is entering to this node which is labeled as is so we can calculate the value of is that will equal to the sum of these two currents is equal to 0.2 milliampere plus 0.1 milliampere that is 0.3 milliampere so the right value of is is 0.3 milliampere now we will move towards the second method we will solve this same problem using current divider rule in order to use current divider rule first we have to calculate any one branch current in this case we have voltage across this 30 kilo ohm resistance we can calculate its current current of 30 kilo ohm resistance will be 3 divided by 30k that will be 0.1 milliampere now label this current on this circuit diagram we are considering this current as i2 and this branch current will be labeled as i1 we have calculated the value of i2 we can use current divider rule to calculate the value of is in this formula value of i2 is known r1 will be this 60 kilo ohm r2 will be equal to the sum of these two resistances and i into t that is total current 
in our case is is it is required to calculate this equation include only one variable that is is use this equation and enter the values i2 is 0.1 milliampere r1 is 60 kilo ohm r1 60 kilo ohm plus r2 that is 90k plus 30k and the total current is is that is required to calculate rearrange the equation to calculate the value of is by separating constants from variable do some mathematics to calculate the value of is that will be 0.3 milliampere so you have seen in both cases the results are same but we have solved this problem with two different methodologies now it is your own choice which method you adopt so this was learning assessment e2.19 thank you see you again in next video